Today we're going to take a look at some different types of birds and which ones are the biggest in that specific family. This will give you the widest variety of knowledge on this amazing animal. From the largest species of owl known as the Eurasian Eagle Owl to the biggest penguins out there, here are the 15 largest birds on earth. Number 15, Eurasian Eagle Owl. The Eurasian Eagle Owl is considered to be the largest species of owl and it's quite majestic. Females can grow up to be 30 inches and have a massive wingspan of 6 foot 2 inches wide. That's taller than your average human. It's distinguishable by its large ear tufts which kind of stick out and its striking orange eyes. These actually aren't quite as rare as you would probably think and they generally are avoided by hunters because they're nocturnal actions and also because they help control the mouse population. The Eurasian Eagle Owl is quite widespread across Europe and Asia as the name would imply. This thing could be big enough to swoop down and snatch your kid, so watch out. Number 14, the Great Grebe. This aquatic bird, native to the country of Peru, is the largest species of grebe and it primarily feasts on a diet of fish, but will also take in things such as small mollusks and insects. Their beaks are properly adapted to hunting fish and their wingspans can reach about 3 feet in length. Common grebes are about the size of a duck, so this subspecies is quite large in comparison. Number 13, Imperial Woodpecker. If you're ever able to spot the Imperial Woodpecker, getting a photo of one might make you rich. These birds are believed to be extinct and there hasn't been a confirmed sighting in quite a while. However, if it still exists, it would be the largest subspecies of woodpecker out there. As of now, it's officially listed as critically endangered, but any population out there would be extremely small. The birds were apparently destroying valuable timber in Mexico, so they were encouraged by lumberjacks to be hunted. It would be about 23 centimeters long with a few red feathers on males' heads. Number 12, Dalmatian Pelicans. Pelicans are some of the largest flying birds out there and are known to be able to scoop up fish with its basket-like jaws. One of the most massive of these massive species is the Dalmatian pelican and you better believe they got massive eggs to back it up. Eggs can weigh about 6 ounces. That's some serious protein. Some specimens have weighed in at 23 pounds with a wingspan of 8 feet. Their numbers have declined quite a bit in recent years but they're still found in India and China. They're native to areas around the Danube River in Eastern Europe and are believed to be the heaviest native bird in Europe. Sometimes while standing, they can reach heights of about 5 foot 3 inches tall to 6 feet. They typically breed around water and will choose islands for nesting. Predators such as jackals, wolves and other dogs have been known to raid their nesting settlements which certainly doesn't help us preserve them. Number 11, the Toko Toucan. The largest species of toucan is the toco toucan and it's also one of the most colorful birds out there. This is actually a part of the same family as woodpeckers, known as PC forms, but you can also tell by the photos that they're completely different. The toco toucan is of course recognizable by its large orange beak that's shaped like a banana. Just the beak itself measures 8 inches, which is about one third the size of the bird. Now that's a big nose. Toucans are native to Brazil in tropical regions, especially in the Amazon rainforest. They are currently under threat because their habitat is being destroyed by lumberjacks to make way for different products. They aren't really classified as threatened, but try to do your part in preserving the toucan population by attempting to purchase less rainforest products. Number 10, Hyansith Macaw. Probably know about parrots, but the largest species of parrot is known as the Hyansith Macaw, which can weigh up to 3.5 kilograms. They're mostly spotted in South America in places like Brazil and parts of Bolivia. They enjoy a vast variety of nuts and seeds. Their beaks are so powerful and strong that they can actually break open a coconut with them. They're often blue as you can see here and a few are being held in captivity to ensure their safety. The number in the wild has gradually declined but on a positive note they are able to reproduce under captivity quite quickly. Number 9, Indian Condor. This massive New World Vulture is found in the Andes Mountains and flying around the Pacific coastline in South America. It's considered to be the largest flying bird in the world by its wingspan and weight. Its maximum wingspan can reach nearly 11 feet long and only a few seabirds have a wider wingspan. This bird is considered a scavenger and will basically eat what's left over of deceased animals. It's the only bird of prey where the male is actually larger than the female. 
Their nests are normally high up in the Andes Mountains and have an average elevation of 16,000 feet. Captive breeding programs have kept this bird from becoming threatened and thankfully, due to their isolation at high elevations, they're able to stay alive. The Andean condor has also become the national bird of quite a few South American countries and has played a role in mythology of indigenous religions. Number 8. The Great Bustard Often referred to as the world's heaviest flying bird, the Great Bustard primarily lives in Western Europe in countries such as Spain and Portugal. They did live in the UK for quite a while, but the last one was eventually hunted in 1832. They've attempted to reintroduce the species here on remote plains, but with little success. There's an estimated 40 to 50 living in the UK on an army train area, which allows them to be separated from the general population. The males and females exhibit quite a large difference, to the point where they almost don't even look like the same species anymore. Here we see the male on the left and the female on the right. Number 7. The Domesticated Turkey the turkeys that we eat for Thanksgiving are actually some of the biggest birds out there, but they definitely can't fly like all the other birds on this list so far. It's believed that humans began domesticating turkeys about 2,000 years ago in Middle America, and varieties of the domesticated turkey eventually arrived in Europe around the 1500s. The domesticated turkey was kind of seen as a Native American or exotic bird at this time. Farmers love turkeys because they're able to generate quite a bit of meat from them for the amount of food that they're given to live. The turkey is basically too fat and plump to fly, as you can tell from this photo, which might also taste good. And in case you were wondering, a baby turkey is called a pult. Number 6. Emperor Penguin The Emperor Penguin is the tallest and heaviest species of penguin out there and is native to Antarctica. Penguins can survive sub-freezing weather due to their heavy plumage, fat levels, and adaptations in their hemoglobin to function when oxygen is low. Penguins also can't fly, but they're excellent swimmers who can easily hunt squid, krill, crustaceans, and fish. Penguins can generally live for 20 years or even 50 in some cases. These unique birds can reach about 4 feet tall in height and even weigh about 50 pounds. Emperor penguins are also some of the most romantic species of birds out there as well. They are committed monogamists and will stay faithful to their mate for an entire year after the female lays an egg. Number 5. Greater Rhea It makes sense that a large amount of the biggest birds on Earth are going to be flightless birds. It's just simple aerodynamics. The Greater Rhea is found in South America in countries such as Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. However, recently, it's been able to reproduce in Germany and revive the number of species. However, recently, it's been able to reproduce in Germany and revive the number of specimens. Although it doesn't really seem like it should belong in Germany, they've managed to do fairly well and are even making up a part of the habitat there. The massive birds can weigh about 60 pounds and be as tall as 5 feet. Number 4. Stellar Sea Eagle Although this is American Eye, and as much as we would like to put the bald eagle on the list, the Stellar Sea Eagle is the biggest but we're sure that bald eagle would definitely win in a fight. This type of eagle can weigh about 20 pounds, but the harpy eagle and the Philippine eagles are pretty close. The stellar sea eagle is found on the Kamchatka Peninsula in eastern Russia, parts of Japan, and northeastern Asia Pacific. These cunning, intelligent animals are great hunters and they dominate the skies. Although those other eagles come close to the size, these have much more pure muscle mass, which makes them excellent flyers. Their beaks are also quite impressive and are shaped like that for picking flesh off of bones. The massive wingspan is about 8.1 feet, making it able to match many vultures. This is one bird of prey you better pray you don't run into in a dark alley. Number 3. Mute Swan Mute swans are swans that are generally less vocal and appear in Europe, but also parts of Japan and the eastern United States. This is the largest species of swan and its recognizable attribute would be the fleshy little knob thing at the top of its beak, which is normally larger for males. They can reach heights of 5 feet and have pure white feathers except for the little part of black on the top of the beak. There's a population of about 500,000 mute swans after breeding season, which doesn't make it too rare, but they've also tended to decline in many places around the world. They naturally inhabit former Soviet Union countries, where about 70% of them will live. The mute swan was introduced to North America in the late 19th century, where their numbers rapidly increased to the point where they were considered an invasive species. These were introduced by a conservation group who claimed that swans were indeed native to North America, but this was incorrect. Number 2. The Southern Cassowary Another flightless bird, the cassowary is native to tropical areas in northern Australia, parts of Borneo, and you may have encountered a few on Rook Island in Far Cry 3. These were once traded as valuable commodities and their leather was used for various reasons. They're often spotted with yellow or multi-colored necks and are known to attack people when approached. They have very sharp claws on their toes that we see here. 
They can even jump a meter high in the air and will aim for your throat or your gut with the claws, so watch out. Southern cassowaries will basically put their head down, run at you full speed, and with that thick helmet-like skin on their head, they can guide themselves through dense forests without looking. There are less than 2,000 cassowaries left, and they're slowly becoming extinct. And number one, ostriches. The two largest species of birds are the Somali ostrich and just the plain old simple ostrich at number one. Another fascinating large species of flightless bird, ostriches have extremely powerful legs which can easily knock you out with one good kick. Many believe that ostriches are close relatives to dinosaurs, but they gave up on flying once dinosaurs were extinct. Researchers claim that since they lost a large amount of predators after this extinction, they simply became fat and lazy because they no longer had to fly. Being the largest species of bird at 6.9 to 9.2 feet tall and weighing an average of 230 pounds, they also have the largest eggs in the bird kingdom. Ostriches set the record in 2008 for a confirmed egg weighing in at 5 pounds and 11 ounces. Some estimate that this egg would cost over $40,000.